It is the 10th day of our video advent calendar, and I thought that was a good reason to get dressed up a little bit. Let's jump into this. Hi friends, my name is Greg Simpson, and we are on day 10 of our video advent calendar. This year, Christmas and the advent season just feel different than I'm used to. Are you feeling the same thing? I know some folks are having a real difficulty finding the same joy as they once did. So I'm going to encourage us to go looking for joy, and I've got just the source to find it. Let's open door number 10 to find some joy. Do you have any favorite children's Christmas books that are from your past? There's one particular one for me called Mouse in the Manger, and I'm pretty sure that if I went to my parents' place right now, I could still lay hands on that book. And then from my own kids, I remember the stable that Bob built. It's one of the VeggieTales books, and I read that so many times I had it memorized. Those are really joyful and lovely warm memories of Christmas's past. Would you be able to lay hands on some of those books for yourself? Might that be something you could do to reconnect with some of that past history? Or maybe if you're a young person, it's not really that long ago, but Reading children's Christmas books is such a special thing. Just before I started recording, I grabbed a collection of them from the church. Some of these are a little bit newer, some of them are a little bit older, but I want to recommend one particular one to you. It's called Humphrey's, Humphrey's First Christmas. It takes a look at the nativity scene, the nativity story, from the viewpoint of Humphrey the camel. It's an absolutely beautifully written and beautifully drawn book. And I think that's what actually invites us into these stories is the ideas are written in a way that children can really grasp them and again climb inside and the, the illustrations are beautiful. So that's my encouragement to you. Find some joy by reliving some of your past or maybe finding a new story that has a, a beautiful message for you. Let's jump into some children's Christmas books together and live some joy of Christmas's past. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. If you are enjoying this series, I invite you to click this, the subscribe button below. And if you want to be reminded when I upload tomorrow's video, you can click the little bell beside it and YouTube will send you a notification. If you click the thumbs up because you like this video so much, it will let YouTube know that you like this sort of thing and it will help them kind of guide you towards other content just like this. And if you really, really like this, share it with a friend. It would be wonderful if we could spread the beautiful news of Christmas a little broader this year. Thanks so much. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.